yes, I spoke with the bishop. Yes. I know what you want, son. Still keeping your all-seeing eye on me, Gabriel. I'm flattered. Well, I could offer something about how a shepherd leads even the most wayward of his flock. But it might sound disingenuous. She has to have Catholic funeral, Father. She has to. Angela, it's still considered a mortal sin. She didn't commit suicide. The bishop believes otherwise. You know the rules, Angela. Oh, rules. Father. David. This is Isabel. God was the only one she ever believed loved her. Please. I'm sorry. I've been seeing some unusual soul traffic lately. You might consider giving me an extension. It could do your side some good these days. You still trying to buy your way into heaven? What about the minions I've sent back? That alone should guarantee my entry. How many times have I told you? That's not the way this works. Why haven't I served him enough? What does he want from me? Only the usual. Self-sacrifice, belief. No, I believe for Christ's no, sake. No, no, you know, and there's a difference. You've seen. I never asked to see. I was born with this curse. A gift, John. One that you've squandered on selfish endeavors. Not pulling demons out of little girls. Who's that for? Everything you've ever done, you've only ever done for yourself. To earn your way back into his good graces. Possible rules, endless regulations. Who goes up, who goes down, and why? I don't even understand this. You're the one who should go to hell, half-breed. Why me, Gabriel? It's personal, isn't it? I didn't go to church enough. I didn't pray enough. I was five foot short in the collection plate. Why? You are going to die young because you smoked 30 cigarettes a day since you were 15. And you're going to go to hell. Because of the life you took. You're fucked. 